Welcome to the Refuge Podcast, where we cultivate our faith in the shelter of God's word. I'm your host, Jennifer Elwood. All right. I think we might have actually reached my favorite chapter. And I think even also my favorite picture, if you have access to the book, um, I can't tell you how much went into the picture of the hand reaching towards the rabbi's tassel. Um, the hand is mine. The feet are my dad's. <laughs> just in case you were wondering, I think, yeah, I, I have it in the book, but just in case, uh, if you need the picture, go grab the Kindle. It's the least expensive way to see all of the pictures. And, um, yeah, this was a special one for me. And so was the picture because as I studied the context of this story, like my mind blew up. So maybe it will for you too. At any rate. Okay. I'm settling down now. Today, we are going to receive the gift of determined trust as we read counting up to Christmas, 24 gifts from the gospel of Luke chapter eight. So take a minute if you haven't yet and read Luke eight, and then join me to contemplate this verse. And he said to her daughter, your faith has made you well go in peace. Luke eight forty eight the ESV. Do you treasure sledding as a winter pastime? We do. And a sledding hill blesses our property. When the weather creates the sparkle of morning frost, the kids begin to wonder when snow will follow. Once blanketed with a thick layer of fluffy white, we climb the hill in endless repetition and enjoy the rush back down. One year, my oldest child, Mitchell, wanted to try a steeper tree-laden slope on the other side of the property. I agreed to scope it out, and one run appeared safe. As he began his descent, I watched his head barrel down toward a slightly bent tree in his path. I screamed for him to bail out, but he didn't hear me. And then a crazy thing happened. As his little noggin approached the trunk of the tree, his sled seemed to be pushed by an invisible hand. He narrowly avoided a trip to the hospital, or worse. As I look back on that event, I realize my need for our gift today, determined trust. At any given moment, it's a challenge to fully trust the Lord with every aspect of our lives. How often have devastating events or misplaced trust in people brought an edge of suspicion into your relationship with Jesus. The choice for determined trust needs continual reevaluation as we move our eyes off the world and focus our gaze firmly on the Lord. To me, determined trust means never giving up on the pursuit of God. We can trust that God is good, loving, and will act according to his will to shape us into the image of his son. The ability to trust God enough to say in any situation, not my will, but yours be done is an amazing gift indeed. So let's read at, reach out for our Savior's hand and get our grid on. We will don tattered red stained rags and peer into the life of the bleeding woman to help us open the gift so wonderfully demonstrated in our reading today. I am unclean and unwelcome. Living on the outskirts of town for 12 years, I spent all my money on doctors with no answers. Then rumors of Jesus's healing power met my ears. I replaced the message of the world that said healing is impossible with, if I touch even his garments, I will be made well. Trust in him ignited. Determined, I decided to press into the crowd in hopes of receiving healing unnoticed. But I learned something that day. Jesus exists to glorify his father through our trust. He cannot allow power to release in silence. Looking up from the ground with the dust of his fringe on my fingers, I met his compassionate gaze as he asked, who was it that touched me? As I hear Jesus pronounce me well, he is interrupted. A child is dead. Someone else in the crowd waited on Jesus with determined faith too, Jairus. My newly healed body cries out with Jairus's wife at home, weeping over their dying daughter. I fervently pray Jesus will deliver a miracle for this family too. I hear later through the grapevine, the little girl is alive. 
As I contemplate my miracle, the words of Malachi 4.2 play in my mind. But for you who fear my name, the sun of righteousness will rise with healing in its wings. These words resonate in my heart with the sensation of healing power I experienced when I touched the tassels on the edge of his prayer shawl. Did my determined trust have the power to fulfill this prophecy? We can learn so much from these stories today. Life can be hard. Perhaps like me, you need your confidence in the Lord reignited. Are you weary of praying for someone who seems unlikely to change? Maybe you're dealing with discouragement in one area of your life, an unwanted diagnosis, parenting difficulties, or the calling to a task that seems impossible. Maybe we allow the Lord to give us the determination we need to trust him, no matter our circumstances. And here's our prayer for today. Lord, as we experience what this Christmas season brings, we praise you for the inner workings of your word in our lives. Thank you for supplying everything we need to have determined faith and persistence of relationship with you. Please help us display bold, tenacious faith to those around us as we celebrate the birth of your son, Jesus. Amen. I recommend listening to the song, Love Came Down, for your worship today. I have a little bonus. Um, a couple pages ahead in the, in the, in the printed book, um, there's a page holder and the original poem that this song is based on is actually on that page. It's called Christmas Tide by Christina Rossetti. It's pretty short. I'm going to read it to you. Love came down at Christmas. Love all lovely, love divine. Love was born at Christmas, star and angels gave the sign. Worship we the Godhead, love incarnate, love divine. Worship we our Jesus, but wherewith for sacred sign. Love shall be our token, love be yours and love be mine. Love to God and all men, love for plea and gift and sign. Today, your Christmas quietude prompt is this. Meditate on our verse, and I will read that again for you. And he said to her daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace. So I recommend that you spend a little bit of time considering or journaling a remembrance of something you sought from the Lord with determined faith. And maybe this is something that you're seeking now, or maybe this is something that you sought and he delivered. So have an amazing, peaceful time today.